All right, welcome back, crime fighters, to another edition of Calhoun County's Most Wanted. I'm your host, Chris Wright, and welcome back also from the National Sheriff's Association Conference, Chief Deputy Matthew Wade. Hey, month of June's been very busy for me. Did go to Minneapolis to the National Sheriff's Conference. It was a great conference. Walked out of there becoming a certified Homeland Pro Protection Professional, mm -hmm. if I can say all that in one word. And uh, hopefully that brings us back some, uh, some DHS money, some, some ways to work with our federal partners to ensure that, that we're, we're ready if something bad happens. You've got to always be continuing to grow and, and further your education in, in the chosen field, whatever it is. And law enforcement certainly is one that's uh, changing every day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, so. You know, uh, you got to be got to think outside the box and come up with ways to do better, not only for your community, but for your customer base. And, and that's kind of where we come out of some of the ideas that we've got now is people would call us for a uh, patrol request. I'm going out of town for a week and, and I, I really like for an officer to ride by my house and check on it. So we've always done that, but we didn't really have a way for a feedback to the to the customer you know if you buy you something you have to trust you that somebody's coming by yeah yeah oh yeah sure you came by you yeah. know so one thing that we did we have a really smart guy that works for us wrote all of our software so now when somebody asks for their home or business to be checked for a particular reason uh, we get an email address from them and the deputies go by and check it during that week and one day during the week it's a set date and uh, they'll get a, an email that tells them every date and time that that deputy checked that residence location for whatever reason. And that little feedback, I think, goes a long way, whether it's patrol requests or investigating a crime. And that's what we try to do. I know we're human, we are, that we're not always going to meet the mark for every customer, but we are striving for ways to give that feedback to, our, uh, to the people of this county to show what we're doing. You can't be everywhere all the time, but if somebody has a specific reason why they, they need a little bit of extra help, uh, the Sheriff's Office does what they can. Absolutely. All right. And you guys have been doing what you can as well, helping us find some of these bad guys that we tell you about each week. Seven arrests. You've never let us down. That brings a count up to 3,737 people arrested because somebody was willing to get involved and give us some information. That is key. That's awesome. So uh, keep it up. We're going to have another list for you here in just a few minutes when we come back on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a crackhead, drug addict, alcoholic, meth freak, a rich, like me. I once was homeless, broken, sad, just lost. But now I am sober, happy. I'm fine. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. AOD Federal Credit Union. You already know their friendly staff and great loan products. So here's reason number eight to choose AOD FCU, a new all platinum Visa credit card. Call 1 800 637 0299 or visit AODFCU.com to start earning 1% cash back on purchases. Your good credit earns you a better rate. A new Platinum Visa card. Another reason you belong at AOD Federal Credit Union. I have a lot of land that I have to keep up. I'd recommend Mahindra. It, I've never had any trouble with, with mine. I, like I said, I do a lot of bush hogging. I do a lot of uh, garden tilling. The service department has been great. Every time I've ever called or needed any, anything done, they have done it for me. Hey folks, come see us at Foothills Tractor. We're your one-stop shop for anything you need. Locally owned, locally operated, give you the best customer service guaranteed. Ready for a new ride? Get ready for Rig. I'm Rig A. Marol, and I am ready with all the fancy jargon, made up expenses, marketing gimmicks, and flat out lies that you've come to expect when you go car shopping. You want to pay way too much for a piece of junk like this? Get a load of me. 
rig a marole at your neighborhood used car dealer. I'll have you maroling off this lot in your new vehicle. I'm Marty Boyles, and I guarantee no rig and marole here at Jacksonville Auto Sales. Just good cars and trucks at fair prices. We're in Jacksonville across from Walmart, or find us on the web at jascars.com. Remember, Jacksonville Auto Sales, home of the no rigmarole deal. Hi, I'm Katina Houston Stroud with Family Links, and this is the Family Tip of the Week. Kids love to partake in as many activities as possible. There's football, basketball, theater, and the list goes on. With all these activities, there are the parents trying their best to uphold a balanced schedule and budget since many of these activities need money. Everything is in order until your child tells you they no longer want to pursue an activity and it's only the first week, or it gets really difficult and they want to quit. At first, most parents probably agree to let their child quit, but if you pay close attention, you'll soon realize an unhealthy pattern. If you allow your child to quit something he or she loves but is afraid to pursue it because it's hard for them, they may believe they don't have what it takes to move forward, and it will only lead to the following. First, your child may always quit. The more they quit, the less they'll learn the meaning of stability. They'll never determine a true liking for something. They will assume the same quitting behavior as they grow older, and they may quit jobs because they feel bored or quit relationships because a girlfriend or boyfriend cancel a dinner. Quitting becomes too easy. Secondly, your child may not commit. Children will have a difficult time adjusting and committing to new things. Of course, they'll be open-minded to something new at first, but when it becomes too much for them, they'll walk away. As adults, they'll do the same. For example, if they choose to marry and have a family of their own, but they recognize it was more than they bargained for, they'll quit. Third, they will always fear. Children fear the unknown and will quit whatever it is because they do not know. Once fear is in them at a young age, they'll grow with that same fear as adults. They will likely live life differently than you hope for them as a parent. Children are always experimenting with different ideas and activities, and that is because they're trying to discover who they are and what they actually take pleasure in doing. They'll dare to quit at the first sign of hardship, even if they love the activity, and that's where you as a parent come in to tell them quitting is not the answer. Help your child to work through their issues and then move forward. For more family tips, please contact Family Links at 256-820-5911. All right, let's take a look at this week's lineup here on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. We start off with Floyd Prater of Piedmont. He is wanted for failure to appear for use and possession of drug paraphernalia. Jose Pavon Rodriguez of Oxford wanted on bond revocation for possession of a controlled substance and pistol without a permit. Hillary Slayton of Oxford wanted for failure to appear for possession of a co controlled substance, receiving stolen property, and use and possession of drug paraphernalia. Demarius Boyd from Aniston wanted for failure to appear for possession of marijuana first degree and attempting to elude and also on a bond revocation for possession of a controlled substance and possession of marijuana. Michaelin Kissick of Aniston wanted for failure to appear for prescription drugs illegal possession. David McGee of Aniston wanted for failure to appear for passing bad checks. And Matthew Lamberth of Ohatchee wanted for failure to appear for use and possession of drug paraphernalia. We'll have more bad guys for you here in just a few minutes, but right now, if you have any information about these individuals, please call Calhoun County Crime Stoppers. They want your information, not your name, and you can get them at 256-238-1414. That's not all the bad guys. we got some more that we'll talk about here in just a few minutes, but right now we want to welcome Becky Cox onto the show. Becky is a social worker with Calhoun County Schools. Good to see you, Becky. Thank you. Glad to be here. And of course, it's summertime, so you school employees have absolutely nothing to do, right? We have not one thing to do, <laughs> except we need to make sure that our kids are fed during the summer. So that's why I'm here today to talk to you about our summer feeds program uh, through the schools. Y'all know that's not true. They got plenty to do. Uh, but yeah, feeding the kids, they're, they're out of school. And, and a lot of us, we don't think about this. You know, Matthew, I know your kids you, you've got plenty of food at home for them. Most of us are fortunately able to provide decent food for our kids to eat every day. But a lot of us might be surprised at how many families in Calhoun County that's a real struggle for. And during the school year, those kids have got a good healthy meal once a day at least every day. Summertime rolls around may not be the case, but we're working on trying to take care of that. 
Absolutely. Calhoun County is 61% free or reduced lunch. Um, amongst the students that we have and we several years ago we started doing the summer feeds program and that program is going on in four of our system countywide system schools right now and will be going through July the 21st. All right so is this an absolutely free program for kids? Who, who all is eligible to get it? How do they take advantage of it? If you are 18 years old or younger even toddlers, you can go to one of the participating schools to get a free lunch and a free breakfast. They're doing breakfast and lunch at these participating schools. And is it, what days is this on? Monday through Thursdays at most of them. I would suggest that you contact your system that you're going to to see what the specific dates and times are. Um, Piedmont City Schools is participating, Anniston City Schools. Calhoun County Schools and Jacksonville City Schools are participating. You do not have to attend one of those schools to, to go into the school to get the food. You can, if you're living in Oxford and you're in the Anniston area, you can go in there and get food. Just like if you're at Anniston and you go to Jacksonville, you can go to Jacksonville and get the food as well. Are they gonna check my ID? They're, <laughs> you're, you look older than 18. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, well, I could take William though, and then you I don't have to buy William. William's lunch. So, you, you so I, I can go get a free lunch for William, and then go buy a bigger steak for myself with the money I saved. That's not, That's the, not the intent, is it? Of this. <laughs> no. no, absolutely not. We know, like you were saying a moment ago, that there are children who may or may not have the food and the nutrition that they need during the summertime. Just because the summer comes doesn't mean the need stops. So we want to make sure that these children are getting what they need. Mm -hmm. But I'm joking about that, obviously. I'm not going to go take my kid to get a free meal and then go buy a big, massive steak for myself. But you don't have to be on the verge of bankruptcy to take advantage of this program. No, you do not. If you are 18 years old and you are younger and you go to the school and you're hungry, you can take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. We have also uh, partnered with some local food distributors who are doing food drops in our area as well because we know that in our rural areas that um, it's a three-day hike to get from Ohatchee to, to Anniston on a good day to get food. I mean when you have your kids here uh, at home and it's the summertime they're going to get hungry and you're going to have to make your food stretch. So um, Reaching Out International has partnered with us through the United Way and we are doing a food drop every third Friday from 1230 at Oak Bowery Baptist Church church for those families who come in and who need food. If you're hungry and you need food, come and get food. Matthew, I love things like this because it, this shows that you know, sometimes we think schools, education, that's it. But we can't just put a little box on something as important as our schools. They're doing so much more in the community. They're not. And, and where my kids go, it is a community. The school is the center of it. Whether you know, A lot of times it focuses around athletics, but schools are the community. It's a community center they can go out and, and be able to get food. I mean, that's, that's just being part of who we are. That's what we're supposed to do is help those who need help. And, and Becky, you, if you, even if it is just about the education, you can't properly educate a child who isn't physically ready to be educated, can you? You can't. You absolutely can't. If they're thinking about what am I going to eat or what am I going to go home to or, or what's going to be going on, they can't focus on being educated and we want children to succeed in school that is our number one priority is for all children to succeed in school and to be able to graduate and being able to do that is reaching out to the community and finding those partners that are willing to help the whole picture to help the whole family unit in getting everything that they need to succeed. And speaking of partners is there anybody in particular I know a lot of people work on this kind of thing but is there anybody in particular that just has really stepped out to help make this program work in Calhoun County? We are all the time reaching out to our community through United Way, through 211, through the Family Services Center, through Community Enabler. All of these folks work together to, to make this happen for these children in the community. All right, if people want to find out more so they know specifically about when they can uh, take advantage of this at their local school, how do they find out? They can visit their school's website, they can visit the Calhoun County website, or they can visit the 24 website as well. All right, very good. All right, we'll talk some more with you coming up in just a few moments. We need to take a break, and when we come back, we'll have the second half of this week's lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. Ready for a new ride? 
Get ready for Rig. I'm Rig A. Marol, and I am ready with all the fancy jargon, made up expenses, marketing gimmicks, and flat out lies that you've come to expect when you go car shopping. You want to pay way too much for a piece of junk like this? Get a load of me. Rig A. Marol at your neighborhood used car dealer. I'll have you marolling off this lot in your new vehicle. I'm Marty Boyles, and I guarantee no rig and roll here at Jacksonville Auto Sales. Just good cars and trucks at fair prices. We're in Jacksonville across from Walmart, or find us on the web at jascars.com. Remember, Jacksonville Auto Sales, home of the no rig and roll deal. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a crackhead, drug addict, alcoholic, meth freak, a rich, like me. I once was homeless, broken. Sad. Just lost. But now I am sober. Happy. I'm fine. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. I have a lot of land that I have to keep up. I'd recommend Mahindra. It, I've never had any trouble with mine. I, like I said, I do a lot of bush hogging. I do a lot of uh, garden tilling. The service department has been great. Every time I've ever called or needed any, anything done, they have done it for me. Hey folks, come see us at Foothills Tractor. We're your one-stop shop for anything you need. Locally owned, locally operated, give you the best customer service guaranteed. AOD Federal Credit Union. You already know their friendly staff and great loan products. So here's reason number eight to choose AOD FCU a new all-platinum Visa credit card. Call 1-800-637-0299 or visit aodfcu.com to start earning 1% cash back on purchases. Your good credit earns you a better rate. A new platinum Visa card, another reason you belong at AOD Federal Credit Union. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality. And Sonny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sonny King Ford for the best cars and best price. And now the second half of this week's lineup of Calhoun County's Most Wanted. Denisha Morris of Anniston wanted for failure to appear for child support. Adam Popperitz of Anniston wanted for failure to appear for third degree domestic violence harassment. Darian Keith of Alpine wanted for failure to appear for second degree possession of marijuana. Veronica Vargas of Anniston wanted for passing bad checks. James Trammell of Anniston wanted for failure to pay for obstruction of justice using a false ID. Brandon Winningham of Anniston wanted for failure to appear for third degree assault. If you have any information about these individuals, please call Calhoun County Crime Stoppers. You could get a cash reward of up to $1,000. Call 256-238-1414. All right, we'll have the Crazy Criminal of the Week coming up and also the Crime Stoppers segment of Calhoun County's Most Wanted here in just a few minutes. But right now we're talking with Becky Cox, a social worker at Calhoun County Schools. And uh, the summer feeding program is, is a, a great deal. We were just talking about that. But really, we're already at the point now, as much as we hate to think about it, certainly my kids hate to think about it, we're on that downhill slide towards the next school year. And it's time to be preparing in some ways. Now, you, you can buy your pencils at the last minute. You can maybe buy your back-to-school clothes at the last minute. But there are some things you need to be doing before you get to the last minute, don't you? Absolutely. We need to be proactive with our parenting and our approach to the new school year. We want for our children to know that we're all gung-ho and we're all ready for the new school year as it relates to our parenting our, our children. School gets dip more difficult every year that you go you, that you go back. So we want to make sure that we're all on the same sheet of music, that our kids know that we want for them to be in school, we want for them to succeed in school, and that we're on the school's page mm -hmm. of music as well. And Matthew, I know you certainly know this with the way things come in waves at the sheriff's office. Once everything's busy and it's all going, 
it, it's hard to make up anything that you, you missed a couple of days ago, but if you find a few days where you can get a little bit ahead, then that really helps be prepared for everything. Absolutely. You know, my mother was an educator, so it was hard for me to get away with anything in school because she was there. But it's always been instilled in me, and, and you know, we try to do so with our kids to be prepared, to be thinking about what you got to do to, to work hard. And it's hard to see, for kids to see the long term. You know, you're in ninth grade, it's hard to see the long term. Uh, Plan, but it, as a parent, you know, it's our job to make sure that they're doing the things that they need to do so they can be successful. And Becky, I know my kids have got summer reading lists. There are some obvious things out there, but other than that, what is it, what is important for kids and parents to be doing during the summer so that they start that first day prepared to learn? Help them to understand that they're going to be safe at school that they're going to come in and that they're going to have a good learning experience, that educators want them to succeed, that we as parents want for them to succeed, and that we're there for them, and that we're going to make sure that they get everything that they need. If you have um, a situation to where you might need some parenting tips or you might have a difficult situation going on, you can always contact the Family Links office to get some parenting um, classes with empowerment. You're talking there at the beginning about I guess largely the the attitude that the kids are coming into the, the classroom with and that is such a big part of it. We as parents it's important that we teach our kids that the teacher is not an authority figure there to discipline you if you don't do these steps. The teacher is there to help you and, and go in there with that attitude of this teacher is a partner in my education. Absolutely, and we, we have Title I schools amongst our schools, and we want to partner together with the teacher, the parent, and the child so that we can all hold hands mm -hmm. in this education process so that our children can succeed. Yeah, so many times, and Matthew, this is true in, in so many other ways, it's all in how you view that relationship. The attitude that you come into the situation is going to determine the results you get out of it. Absolutely, and our whole goal is that our children, my children grow up and are success, everybody measures that a little different, it's subjective, but for me, I want my children to grow up, be good citizens, I don't want them to have uh, an addiction, I don't want them to be criminals, I want them to be people who love their spouse and treat them well and just general good people. And that all starts with how we get them to deal with uh, school, reacting with others, and being prepared. You, you want them to grow up and have a high school education or more to try to be out and be a productive citizen in life. And, and it, it's, this, we only get one shot till they grow up. And if we fail, they end up with us. And uh, that's, that's the least desired effect. So. All right, well, before we wrap up, Becky, let, let's just recap again. The main reason you're here today is to talk about the, uh, the program for feeding kids during the summer. So if we've got kids out there that are not getting good meals for breakfast and lunch during the summer, what can they do? They can come to one of the summer school feeding sites and be able to get breakfast and lunch. And they need to go onto the website or call the school that is participating and uh, find out the times that they can come and do that. And you don't have to be on the, uh, the free and reduced lunch list to take advantage of this. You do not. Any child that's 18 or younger, even if you're not enrolled in that school system. Even if you're not enrolled in that school system, 18 or younger, don't even have to be enrolled in school yet. You can come and participate in that program. All right, well, very good. Hope you see some hungry folks for the rest of the summer and uh, feed them well. And then uh, hope we have a great school year. We, we certainly do too. Thank you. Right, Becky, thank you very much. All right, we will be back in just a few minutes. It'll be time for the Crime Stopper segment of the show and our Crazy Criminal of the Week on Calhoun County's Most Wanted. The Ford brand has always brought you impressive style and legendary quality, and Sunny King Ford brings you the lowest price and the largest inventory, new or pre-owned. The new 2015 F-150 gets the best gas mileage of any truck without giving up its powerful towing capacity. The iconic new 2015 Mustang with its classic pony car looks and hunkered down stance preserves a legacy that defines American motoring. For over 93 years, Sunny King Ford for the best cars and best price. AOD Federal Credit Union. You already know their friendly staff and great loan products. So here's reason number eight to choose AOD FCU, a new all platinum Visa credit card. Call 1-800-637-0299 or visit aodfcu.com to start earning 1% cash back on purchases. 
Your good credit earns you a better rate. A new Platinum Visa card. Another reason you belong at AOD Federal Credit Union. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved. A crackhead. Drug addict. Alcoholic. Meth free. A rich. Like me. I once was. Homeless. Broken. Sad. Just lost. But now I am. Sober. Happy. I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Every day, shattered lives are restored thanks to the goods you donate to the Salvation Army. I have a lot of land that I have to keep up. I'd recommend Mahindra. It, I've never had any trouble with mine. I, like I said, I do a lot of bush hogging. I do a lot of uh, garden tilling. The service department has been great. Every time I've ever called or needed any, anything done, they have done it for me. Hey folks, come see us at Foothills Tractor. We're your one-stop shop for anything you need. Locally owned, locally operated, give you the best customer service guaranteed. Ready for a new ride? Get ready for Rig. I'm Rig A. Marole, and I am ready with all the fancy jargon, made up expenses, marketing gimmicks, and flat out lies that you've come to expect when you go car shopping. You want to pay way too much for a piece of junk like this? Get a load of me. Rig A. Marole at your neighborhood used car dealer. I'll have you marolling off this lot in your new vehicle. I'm Marty Boyles and I guarantee no rig and roll here at Jacksonville Auto Sales. Just good cars and trucks at fair prices. We're in Jacksonville across from Walmart or find us on the web at JASCars.com. Remember, Jacksonville Auto Sales, home of the no rig and roll deal. And now it's time for the Crime Stoppers segment of Calhoun County's Most Wanted. Between June 9th and 13th, a Yamaha four-wheeler was stolen from a residence on Mountain View Road in Wellington. On June 17th, a Troy-built lawnmower was stolen from a residence on Old Chakalaka Road in Aniston. June 18th, a residence on Airport Road in Oxford was shot into. Witness stated that the suspect's vehicle was a white Nissan Altima. And between June 16th and 18th, a Harley-Davidson motorcycle was stolen from a residence on Prickettville Road. If you have any information about any of these cases or others, Please call Calhoun County Crime Stoppers at 256-238-1414. Stupid! You're so stupid! All right, Matthew, it's time for our crazy criminal of the week. And this week we've got an individual who decided to rob some people at a gas station. That's not good. No, he's waiting for them. They pull up to the pump. He walks over with a gun in his waistband, pulls the gun out, except he doesn't. He messed up, he's got it in his waistband right here, starts to pull it out, accidentally fires it Ouch. into his pants. Ouch. That is not... <laughs> he didn't get their money. <laughs> he, got a, he got a shocking experience, you might would say. <laughs> that is... Uh... <laughs> now, this could have been avoided if A, he didn't turn to a life of crime, or B, he attended one of the firearms training classes that the sheriff's office has. <laughs> yes, that, that is true. We're hoping nobody attends our firearms class to do that. But we do have a firearms class coming up Thursday night at Piedmont, at, at uh, Piedmont High School at, 7 p, at 6 p.m. Piedmont High School, Thursday, July the 7th. Anybody that wants to come can come. Please come along. And uh, here's the other thing. If somebody tries to rob you, you'll be uh, armed and uh, well trained on how to defend yourself and you won't have uh, a guy like that uh, blowing stuff off in his pants. So, um, you know, <laughs> crime doesn't pay, no. you know. If you are going to own a weapon, you need to know how to use it. Yep, or you could have it go off in your pants. There you go. All right, well, that's all the time that we have for this week. We'll be looking for you again next week, but hopefully not in the lineup on Calhoun County's Most Wanted.